Hi everybody, uh, it's Matt again. Today I'm tying a Black Death uh, EP tarpon streamer, just a black and red colour combination. Quite simple, fairly easy to tie, you can knock out quite a few of them quite quickly. Um, and I mean, you can throw them at other species as well. Snooks, uh, Trevally's quite like this colour combination as well. So I'm starting, this is a Tiemco 600 SP. Um, tying, these are quite small, these ones I'm tying, I'm tying them in a size 1, but you could go up to about 3 or, or bigger. You know, if you were tying them for GTs or something, you could go up to, you maybe switch to like an SL12. Go up to a 6 or an 8 or. So, the first uh, thing I'm tying in is the flash. Um, you can see I've stopped the thread just about level with the barb. I'm going to take, I don't know, 5 6 strands of red flash about. Just make sure the tips are slightly uneven and then come in. I just use my vice as my measure so I like the flash to just come in sort of the just the angle of the stem there. Just a couple of wraps is fine. Oops. Hold it back, tie over it, and then you've got some extra here. I just sort of cut, make sure I cut that unevenly as well, and I'll just come in again, tie this the waist in, just fold it back again, and that gives you sort of flash all the all different lengths you know through really what's going to be the back part of the body uh, next I'm going to take some a bunch of black EP fibers uh, about, about a pencil width uh, and diameter And the black section on this, I need about three, probably three quarters of my bunch. So um, you know, you can you keep it for like you can keep the rest for the next fly. Um, which like every fourth fly or so, you should be sort of back to back to the start. So I'll cut it in half first, and I'll set one and half aside. And then I'll cut the next piece. I will cut one of the halves in half again. And I'll, so I'll set one of these aside for the next fly. I'll take my uh, longer piece that I've got now. Like this is basically half of a half a length of EP fiber, and I'll just um, sort of pre-taper the fibres that's a bit nicer on both ends and then oh, so that end. I'll, uh, I'll come in and I'll tie this on top of the hook and you want it sort of just come into the end of the flash you know, you might want a strand a wee bit longer, a strand of flash a wee bit longer. Um, two or three turns on top. Try to keep this on top of the shank and then fold it back. That's how we made that a wee bit. There we go. You 
can just adjust the length if you think it's not quite right. And then fold it back. Take a couple of wraps over it. You might find it fights you, so just uh, just keep going until you get a good and I'll get it well bound down. Uh, now to tie the belly, I'll take my my pre-cut like quarter length, and I'll just taper that up the same. happy just come in split it and then pass it right bit around the hook so it's sort of equally distributed in both sides and just do the same as you did up the top couple of wraps to hold it and then pull the front ends back and just try to distribute it evenly on either side of the hook and then tie in front and you don't need to worry about this looking tidy it's all going to be hidden And I prefer it for these sections. I prefer to tie over it rather than like hollow tying just in front, just for some security. You know that you don't want it slipping or moving around or anything. So that's the 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 back section, the tail section tied. And then for the face. Or the head end, um, it would just come in with some red EP fibers, so, uh, so a similar, similar size bunches, or similar like a pencil, and I used three and tie them right in front of the tie. -in. Tie the first one right in front of the tie-in point. Right, make sure it's sort of spread evenly around the hook. And then force it back. Then again tied in in front of it. I, I like to keep these quite short, these bunches, um, it's in a Makes life easier when you come to trim it. Then just repeat the process again with the second bunch. I take a loose turn just to sort of hold it. That should help spread that around the shank. And then same again. Fold it back. Few wraps in front. I mean, and obviously you can tie this in different sizes um, and different colours, black and purple. You could go like a kind of white and grey for a wee mullet imitation. Whatever colour combinations are sort of recommended for the location you're visiting. And then the third bunch, just the same. And that gives you a nice sort of red built up collar. If you preferred you could you could do this with black and just have the red at the you know, have a red tail and a black collar. Up to you really, your fly. And 
And then, once you've got everything tied in, just have a look at it. And then tidy everything up. And I like to just run the thread the length of the shanks are a key style, you know. Um, although you don't, you could just tie off a head and stick an eye on it. It's not absolutely crucial that you do this. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I'll, uh, I'll finish it. I just want to finish it. I usually want to finish to help form the nose as well. I'll just run right along the the the, fr the front taper there to sort of maintain the taper a bit. So the tie-in's basically done. Place my brush. Um, there we go. So at this stage, I like to get it's just a, like a dog brush, just sort of brush out the the fibres. To get an idea of how they want to set. Need to open them up, and you can see, even though that's black, it's still you can still sort of see through. You don't, you don't want to put too much EP um, on your flies, or they'll you know no sink. Um, just a wee tidy up there, and I just use long scissors for the tr to trim it. The shape that's that's good enough for me. I'm happy with that. You know, you can see you should be able to see through an EP fly. Um, if there's any wee fine trimming that you want to do, you can just come in. There you go, that'll be that'll do. And you could trim them and trim them and trim them. So, ready for the eyes, and these are sort of optional, you see a lot of tarpon flies that don't have eyes, uh, just a wee spot of zapper gap, right at the front of the EP fibre collar, get that well stuck on. And then at the next side, same again, stick your eyes on, just make sure they're lined up. Hold it for a few seconds to make sure. And then the last thing is just to come in and fill between the eyes and coat the nose with some uh, UV resin. And I'm using Loon. Uh, I think Loon's by far and away the best resin. Um, absolutely non yellowing. Dry super clear. And one of the things I like, I don't use alcohol to clean it, I just uh, let it sit in the in natural sunlight to um, take the tack away. And, like, whatever they say about the other ones, like non yellowing, and that, you just cannot do that with them. They will yellow. Um, I've left 
you know, boxes with like flies tied with Deer Creek and flies tied with Tough Fly in the sun. You know, I left, left it sitting open in a boat or something. And the flies that don't yellow are the, the loon eyes. They're the ones that are tied with loon. And so you can see I've just filled the gap between the eyes. I've gone over the eyes just to sort of seal them well into the into the head. And just adjust it until you're sort of happy with the shape you've got. Get us up with the light just to sort of set stuff up. I'm not actually that fussed about um, completely curing it because, as I say, I'll be sitting at a, sticking it in a bit of foam and sitting it in the balcony. And there you have it. That's the HP fiber stuck to my lamp. That's the EP fiber tarpon fly and the black death color combination. As I said before, you can tie them in a range of colors and sizes. Uh, black, black and purple, tan grey, mullet, that kind of stuff. You can tell it's you know, bright colors as well. Chartreuse, electric chicken, that sort of stuff, depending on what you're, what you're targeting. Alright, so I hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't, don't forget to uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more HD videos. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.